there. I'm Heather Lockett, and this is Lasting Conversations. Today, the amazing Sandra Raffelli is here with us to share her passion. And her passion is fashion, and her passion covers a lot of other bases. Um, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Heather. How are you? Thank you for having me here. Thanks so much for being here. Um, your main focus right now is with Asul Fashion Art and Design. It is a nonprofit here in West Palm Beach, Florida. And tell us a little bit about that. And I want to know about your journey from Colombia and what has sparked your joy into your passion. Right. Uh, so Asul Fashion Art and Design is a nonprofit, as you mentioned, that um, supports adults with unique abilities and their families to connect with their purpose. So we use fashion, art, and design so they can discover um, tap talents and reach out for purpose. They um, get the chance to learn different techniques so they can start their own business. So we're bringing fashion and disabilities together in our nonprofit. That's wonderful. And I've been with your group and have helped here and there. And what one of the things, and and I'm wearing a piece today, is to repurpose and create art onto other pieces of clothing, whether they're pants and jackets, t-shirts, tops, and you've had runway shows. um, And it's very, very exciting. And the fashion is beautiful. So what might have been a donated item or thrift store literally has been recreated into works of art. And I want to hear more about that. Your, um, again, the purpose and passion that your students, your young adults and older adults that bring to the table, because clearly they have so much joy. And when I've been to their shows and your, and your runways, they're so happy. They're so happy to be showing off their good works. Right. Their self-esteem is all high up, Uh right? Yeah. 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 So, um, I call it, we call it sustainable fashion. Okay. And, uh, it all started, I was living in Chicago and I'm a big fan of thrift stores and I found myself, um, getting a lot of clothes at the thrift store and, um, redesigning them at home. So I started doing this by myself and, uh, you mentioned, you asked before about Columbia. So how this happened. Mm-hmm. And, um, so yeah, I, I moved to Columbia to start this nonprofit, but I didn't know that it was going to be in fashion. I knew it was going to be for this, uh, to support these adults with disabilities or we call them with unique abilities. Mm-hmm. We like it like that better. Yes. And, um, so yeah, I, I, I gathered a group of women and I told them, I think sustainable fashion can be a great tool for this community. And um, they believe that. And we put together this program where they can redesign clothing that people don't want anymore. So let's say a beautiful dress that you wore once for this fancy lunch and it got a spot, it got a stain, and you don't want to wear it anymore because uh It's being ruined for you, right? But for whatever is ruined for you, it can be a treasure for us. Mm -hmm. So they'll learn how to bring the magic of serendipity and create a beautiful design out of that little stain. So they're, um, you know, being sustainable. We are recovering a piece. We're preventing a piece of textile to go in the landfill. And um, so that is not only important for the community and the society as a whole, but it's also super important for the person who is designing it. Uh, our techniques and our methodologies are very friendly and inclusive to all different abilities, all level uh, all levels of functionality. Mm-hmm. So everybody can accomplish a beautiful project at the end of our classes. So yes, you mentioned they're happy, they're um, their self-esteem is high. And the biggest piece of this is the accomplishment. They're so proud. Right. They're so proud. Let me show you. And it, when I've made a purchase, they're just tickled pink because you get into the business aspect. Right. It's very, um, it's really, really extraordinary what it is that you do. Um, and it is within the building called Extraordinary Charities in which you are in right. that umbrella. So there is that sense of accomplishment, joy, pride, and fun. There's, they're just so fun. The pieces themselves are fun. 
Right, right. Yes. And, and I don't know if you have experience, but sometimes they even tell you how, how they, yes. they, they, they give out their secrets, right? <laughs> but because they have learned something and it was easy for them to get that knowledge, mm -hmm. to feel, to experience that knowledge through their hands. So this is actually giving this community an opportunity to feel purposeful, right? To connect with their purpose in life and to move towards that success that we all should be able to walk, right? To walk the line of, su of success. Mm -hmm. So when you have, uh, and then you work with the family, it's more than just, here's a, an adult or young adult. Um, is there an age? What is the age range that you work with? Yeah. Um, we work with adults who have aged out of high school. Mm -hmm. So um, 18 and older. And sometimes we have people that uh, have been, you know, they're 30 in their 30s and they haven't found in a way to explore their talents. So they'll come to our organization. And yes, thank you for sharing that. Uh, oh, bring it, reminded me of the biggest um, uh, portion of, uh, of the program that is the inclusion of the caregivers of the, or the families, the whole family. Cause it's really a whole unit. Right. 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 They're so, all in this together. Yes. Yeah. So the families, the caregiver comes to the classes and they'll learn separately from their adult with unique abilities, mm -hmm. which is, um, the, our way to bring the support in the home setting. When the person, the caregiver knows what's happening in the program, they will be able to support the adult in the home setting to continue with their projects or with their business, right? And also this is so great because it transforms the dynamics of how they relate to each other. Right. So instead of taking care of the other, they're working together as a team. Mm -hmm. So they start to relate from a more dignifying uh, point of view, right? They're just connecting, they're working together, they're creating together and they're succeeding together. That's really so beautiful because the creation process, and I've talked with other people on the shows before, um, that we, we as grownups have forgotten how to play, how to be creative. Well, he can't do that or I'm not an artist and na, 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 Well, we get to unlimit that thought process, right? And so if the families come in as a team and that the caregivers are also, maybe they're playing with the glitter and the paint and having some ideas themselves, all the while fostering the, their loved one or the person that they're caring with. Right, right. Um, transforming the limiting beliefs mm -hmm. on the families mm -hmm. has been a beautiful process for us because it's most the families are afraid of seeing their adult with disabilities fail. They don't want to see them like um, having some issues or challenges. And when they come to the classes and they experience the whole process, they get to see that everybody can do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody who has got the will and the dedication to learn the skill at our programs with our methodologies, they get to accomplish. And, and yes, so we're transforming in the limiting beliefs of I can't into I can do anything. And then that goes along with our, um, with one of our slogans that are like different abilities, endless opportunities, right? They, endless, right. Endless. And that's right. the fun part really. And, right. and that's where the joy can come in. Right, right, right. Yes. And that's what they feel accomplished. That's what they're showing off. That's what mm -hmm. they're telling you. Like, I made this. What they see you on the street with something that you're wearing that they made. It's like, mm -hmm. I made that. Mm -hmm. So they're, be, they're just bring the joy, their accomplishment, success. And everybody should have the um, access to fashion. You know, I don't think that many of some people in our community don't even consider fashion as a way to express themselves. Mm -hmm. So they are just, I've been given some uh, sweatpants and a t-shirt, but uh, these people also, they, they will love to look good mm -hmm. and to be proud of what they're wearing. So uh, we're making uh, fla fashion more inclusive as well. Well, I think we have um, a preconceived notion that fashion has to be fancy, expensive um, for only certain people where it's every day. What we wear is our fashion. And actually, I haven't done my homework. I don't know the etymology of fashion, as a matter of fact. But I'm sure it, 
for the purpose of this conversation, it has to do with how we feel and what is our mark, what is our color or not, um, and what how are we walking in this earth, right? How are we walking in this world? And as you were speaking earlier, I'm just am seeing footage of the designers, your unique abilities folks that have sashayed and strutted down this runway or they're wearing what they're wearing and it is they might as well be in paris and owning this whole city that's the whole point is how you feel in what you're wearing even if, if it is a ten dollar t-shirt add a pin add some paint do something to it and own it and wear it and this is what you guys do and you're helping them take that ownership and that creativity Right. And that uh, leads up to high self-esteem, right? Like, high self-esteem. Right, right. When you're walking out of home, out of your house and then you're looking great. And then on top of that, you know that you made that piece and you have a, a conversation behind your clothes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool because then you can be included and you have something to tell. So you can connect with the community, right? Before, maybe the person didn't have a purpose. Maybe the person didn't feel that they have something that it was worth sharing with the community, but now they can step in a room full of people and go around and say, hello, how are you? I made this. I'm a designer. That's, that's what is just giving them, bringing them into the community and creating conversations. Boom. And I think there's been such a marginal marginalization of people of different abilities. Um, with mental health issues and things like that, neuro differences, that there can be um, kind of a hidden aspect. And these days, there's really a no more of that. But that is that from the health self esteem and from people like yourself and groups like yourself and other, there's many other programs here within Palm Beach County and throughout the states that are tapping in and seeing the wonder of the people of unique abilities to say, we are here and they are part of our whole community. Um, let's rock on and shine. So I love what you were just saying about having someone come out of their share even more and even their family members who, you know, cause some people can be mean um, and that can be hard or that you're worried all the time for your loved one. So here's another opportunity to say, no, 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 no. We are, are here and we're rocking the world. Right, right. I, I, yes. Well, especially with fashion, right? Fashion is important for everybody. Even those who think like, oh, I'm not fashionable. Like, yeah, you you give it a thought in the morning to make, to put together a good pair of pants with a shirt or with a t-shirt. Um, so yes, yes. We're here to give that possibility to the community, mm -hmm. uh, both of the communities, right? The people with disabilities, with unique abilities, or, and the neurotypical population, because we both come to the middle and have a conversation about how you look, how you feel, what you're wearing, and who made that. And it's super cool to be able to know who made your clothes, right? right. Where are they coming from? Oh, that's amazing. So what is the best part of your day or your best part of your week, work week? I mean, what is it that just, it gives you juice? Um, so I... Some, well, I, I facilitate the programs and, but I believe that I facilitate creativity and I open up, um, this, um, box full of surprises. So it's, it's Ooh, I, I love that well, a box full of surprises. I love it. I yeah. love it because I, I usually give them a technique and I teach them how to use a technique. And then I tell them, now, you know, the technique, you can apply it in your own ways. Mm -hmm. And they get freedom on that part of the process and to see all what they can do it, and the cool designs that they come up with is, is what it gives me joy. And on top of that, they stand out and they start telling everybody, look what I made. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, just seeing all those, um, feeling accomplished and feeling the light that they are right. Just feeling the light, just getting in touch with that light that they are. Um, I just, I just can't stop smiling. It just makes my heart span. And it's so true because they are the light. There is, there really is no limitation 
That's why they're here on this planet, really, to help share their light, to say, you know, we may look or sound different, but we're just different and come on board, right? And help me out. Right. They're giving us an opportunity as human beings. I'm helping you. We're here to help the world. Exactly. And let's go. Let's shine on. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You have a really adorable uh, van. It's all cute and colorful. And do you go from location to location or what else is it that you do? And you, you've added some music. You're, you have mu- movement. It's more than just the fashion. Yes. Uh, well, the van has helped us to bring our programs to different organizations. We partner with other organizations that serve adults with disabilities in Palm Beach County mm-hmm. and, and also help us to make the runway is accessible to all as we can use this van to get all that we need back and forth. And um, we got this program, yes, Azul Moves. So we have fashion, art, and design, right? Well, art, there's so many things that art can include. Movement, dance, um, sculpture, uh, painting, all type of things, and um, mediums, all type of mediums. And um, so Azul Moves is one of the programs that we offer so adults with unique abilities first explore their bodies through contemporary dance and then they get to explore the music so they they get to explore latin music through the uh, movement of their bodies so they're waking the body their bodies into movement and um that supports their self-esteem too we have done some performances, um, they get also all dressed up. They're the stars and they trust and believe in, in what they're doing. They connect with the music and they feel the stars. So again, it's, it's bringing one more, it's a different way to bring out the light on them through music and movement. And also movement is limitless, right? Mm-hmm. You can move around, you can express yourself and enjoy the music. So what a better that there's not another better way to be able to succeed by being respected by something that you can do right and having joy with it and having again there's that word fun and joy yeah. so the community um you are engaged with other groups there's arc and there's other groups that you're engaged with as well um but also how, how can we help or what are some of the community engagements to come uh, can we come and take classes too? Can we be part of a runway or what is it that you like the rest of us to come and help with or be part of? Yeah. One, um, something that we have been pushing a lot in the community is that, uh, our classes are fully inclusive. Mm-hmm. So sometimes people see the word disabilities and they exclude they exclude themselves from that activity because as for somebody with disabilities, our programs are full inclusive. So everybody is welcome to sit on the table with us and learn along with and everybody, all type of people in our, uh, we have in our programs. So um, everybody's welcome to join in our classes. We also um, have runways, um, fashion festivals, and volunteers have been the key for these events to be successful. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be able to make this event so wonderful without our volunteers. So anybody who is interested in having some fun, experiencing some colors and getting some smiles and big hugs (laughs) and big hugs, right? Because we get a lot of big hugs around this community. Um, They're all welcome to join us. And we also have other ways to engagement. Um, Maybe you want to host a party, a fashionable party, and you bring all your friends and then we'll bring a designer and then you get to purchase exclusive items. Everybody likes exclusivity uh, these days, like something that, um, you know, your unique piece. Mm -hmm. So you can host a party where your friends can get some unique pieces that nobody else is going to have. And you can raise awareness about what we do. I love that idea. And a pop-up shop where maybe a few designers could come in and people are enjoying all right. the different designers. Uh, that would be a lot of fun to have it as part of a dance. And right. That's, that's really, really cool. Now, how do you see 23? Um, now there was a word that you were using uh, that was tapping into something 
more, right? I know we're all getting expanded into our more. What is it for you? Yeah, um, the word that um, it has been getting to me, the phrase that is getting to me this year is transforming limiting beliefs. Mm. So um, there is a conception, right, about this community and is that, uh, can they really do that, right? Or some people believe they can, they're really good with the craft and they can do more than a craft. Mm -hmm. They can do really high quality designs and so we are transform, transforming the limiting beliefs that the community has about our adults with disabilities, as well as the limiting beliefs they might have about themselves. Like, oh, fashion? I don't know if I can do fashion. Fashion is just for fancy people, like you said before, or rich people, but they can. So we are allowing them to, um, to tap into unlimiting beliefs, right? So that's what we're moving towards this year. And we are really excited about having um, more people in the community wearing their designs, having more people talking about their abilities, what they can do, and that fashion and people with disabilities can go together. Mm -hmm. um, I know there are some brands out there that are designing clothes for people with disabilities, right? Trying to make it inclusive, which is great. And now we are adding a little bit more to that story. Now we're having people with unique abilities designing your clothes. And you will probably have, um, will stop people. People probably will stop you on the streets saying like, where did you get that? And then you can tell a beautiful, empowering story and you're making somebody else's dreams come true by promoting them, by bringing recognition to their talents. And maybe that person would like to call them and buy more from them. And then we're growing their business. So it's all about transformation from the limiting beliefs into the unlimiting beliefs. I love all of that. The, the proverbial, who are you wearing? Well, there we go. Someone from your community is a fashion designer and an artist and a business person. That's also very, very important. Right. The um, unlimiting beliefs in terms of, no, these folks you help with training with even a business plan and business cards and share some more about that. There is an accountant and accountability aspect as well. Yes, yes. Uh, so let's say this program uh, is a five month program. And at the end of the program, they com to complete it, they need to put together a um, collection of 12 pieces that is going to be sold at one of our fashion festivals. And we create we help them to create their own um, fashion book like their, their trends book. We help them, uh, we create business cards for them. They create their um, face, Facebook business page, uh, their inventory, their business plan. They put all these pieces together mm -hmm. before they launch their brand at our fashion festivals. Mm -hmm. So the time when they come out and people come to see their designs, they feel they have done the whole the whole homework, right? They feel like this is not a game. We're not playing here. You got some pieces to put together to be able to have and to run your business and to share with people who you are now and how you are being transformed um, through the process of participating in the program. Follow the thread, right? Like it's a transformation from being, being a creative. Now you're a designer and you have a story, like, yeah, story, empowering story to tell. Beautiful. And part of your story, what is it that lights you on a weekend when you have just Sandra time that is yours? And, um, and that gets into the rest of the vision for 23 and for you uh, as a person that what else just lights your fire? Oh, well, nature. Yeah. Nature. Um, so I, I think dancing too, right? You're, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I like to move my body. Yeah. Uh, dancing, um, nature. I love to ride my bicycle, connecting with friends, and I love to paint. I like to paint at home and I, I find anything to paint on, like this is a wood <laughs> or like just to play with colors. 
Nice. Yeah. And do you have some fashion pieces that you've created for yourself or you channel that for your work um, projects? So I stopped doing that. I used to do that a lot when I was living in Chicago and that's how this idea came through um, mm-hmm. realization. But now, no, I don't do a lot of uh, clothing I, I, no, I wish I could do more, but not really. I think that it's just more like I want to, I want them to do it. And then I want to wear what they do. Oh, I love it. Right. I really love right. it so much. Right. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this piece. It's, right. it's really, really cute. It looks awesome. So, um, Sandra, is there anything else you'd love a little other pearl of wisdom or something on your heart today? Well, um, maybe on behalf of your, for yourself or your community that you work with. Oh, uh, yeah, I, something that I want to share is that uh, when you serve or when you are in touch or when you connect with our community, um, you get to experience so many talents and that you never know that they were there. So giving the people an opportunity Mm -hmm. to express themselves and to connect with you uh, is something that I practice all the time. And I would like to invite the community to give our community a chance and not just our community, your neighbor or uh, somebody that you see on the street, just like ask, start a conversation because there's so many things that can come behind a conversation. And um, we really are looking forward to um, dress up everybody in Palm Beach County. So whenever we have an event, we, we want everybody to come and, and shop and, experience this empowerment and this beautiful designs that, that, that we have nothing they have nothing to be jealous of other designers they're so great they're bold they're creative and they know what they're doing definitely they absolutely do i can really speak from experience right. they, they really really do it's extraordinary sandra raffelli thank you so much for being here today thank you heather it's thank been you a, a Big, big joy and lots of fun. We've been talking about this for a while, so I'm glad we've been able to sit down and have our chat. And thank you for listening, everybody. Please be sure to like, follow, review, and share this podcast. If you'd like to be part of the conversation, send emails to podcast at lastingconversations.com and follow us on Facebook. This is Lasting Conversations. We get to the heart of everything. <laughs>